Welcome to the Aero General Service Channel. I'm your host, Corey Bartolotti. And in today's video, this is gonna be part two of a three-part series of a large drainage install that we did around this property. So let's go ahead and get started. And remember to call 811 before you start digging. That way they can mark out any utilities that may be in the area. What we're gonna be working on in this video is we're gonna be upgrading the channel drains that are on the pool deck. They're micro channel drains currently, and we're gonna be upgrading them to the NDS five inch channel drain. So it's gonna be a lot larger drain that's gonna go around this pool deck. Now, because there is already an existing micro channel drain, that is going to allow us to make one cut with the concrete saw all the way around the pool deck and then we can go ahead and break that concrete out we won't have to make two cuts because there's already a channel drain in there and that micro channel drain will serve as the second cut now because there is rebar in this concrete we're going to go ahead and make some additional cuts down the center diagonally that way it cuts the rebar in half and it allows us to be able to pry out the concrete and break it out a lot easier. Now, as we remove the concrete, we're just gonna be using the Sawzall to cut the old micro channel drain into sections. That way it'll just be easier to pull that out. And we just keep working our way down until we have all of that removed. And then the next step is gonna be digging out enough dirt so we can get our new channel drains set in there and level them out properly. Now these channel drains are gonna feed to a sump pump that is in the backyard along with two gutter downspouts are also gonna feed into that sump pump basin. And to watch that video, you're gonna to wanna to go and watch part one of the three part series to see the sump pump installation with the discharge line. So now the best way I have found to install channel drains is to level them as you go. Now remember, Installing channel drains is different than installing drain pipe. You're not putting a pitch on the channel drains because one, the run is just way too far to do that. Two, if you start installing a pitch, the channel drain is gonna go down and then your concrete is not gonna look level up to the drain. So it's going to look off and it's not gonna look right. Now you have to remember when water enters this channel drain, it's going to be going on the path of least resistance once it enters that drain. So it is going to flow in the direction that it is intended to flow and it's going to find that drain pipe. And once it finds that drain pipe that's connected to the channel drain, that drain pipe is sloped underground and it's going to take that water out and it's gonna evacuate it quickly. Now to make this 90 degree angle out of the channel drains, we're gonna take one of them and we're gonna cut it at two 45 degree angles, both going the opposite direction. And then we're gonna use a two part epoxy to go ahead and seal those together and put them down into our channel. The main line that's gonna be connecting to the channel drains is also gonna have a gutter downspout dropping into it. So we're gonna go ahead and use a combination Y and we're gonna catch that from above so it can just dump directly into the main line and go to the sump pump. All right, now that we have all the channel drains laid into the trench, it's time to go ahead and tape them off and we're gonna mix some concrete and we're gonna fill in the sides and smooth out that concrete to give it a more finished look. Now the concrete we opted to use was the Satcrete quick dry cement. This stuff has a working time of around 30 to 35 minutes before it sets up and starts to dry. We chose to use this because while we were doing these channel drains, we were getting some showers on and off. So we figured we might as well just use something that dries a little bit quicker. What we did was we made it a little bit more watery than usual because it is a quick dry cement and that would give us a little bit more working time with it and it would make it easier to pack down around the channel drain and get it nice and snug on either side of the cracks. All right, well, we hope you enjoyed part two of this three-part series that we're doing. And the next video will be coming out shortly. And that's going to consist of the rest of the gutter downspouts and the channel drains that are going to run along the driveway on this home. So until next time, this is Aero General Services signing off.